my beautiful Tom on Yansa TV, my dear Dom, my dear Tom, the Dimmy Inquiry or Platform is one. Now, it reminds me, yes, and then you know, and Saka. All the knowledge we need to acquire on this planet before leaving to the next phase is why we're here. We've received quite a number of messages uh, that we're working with. If it is working or not, some are benefiting, others are not. I'm here today with Ethan Ibeen. Uh, the name is quite weird, and we're talking about nature of existence, why we exist. The operational system of existence is what I'm talking about today. Today is going to be super. The first time on this channel, and I believe you're going to enjoy it. Remember to subscribe to the channel, become part of it, click on it. We are 37,000 and so counting. Join this group. We are learning. We are here to learn. If you have information, we give you the opportunity, provided it's in line with the knowledge you are trying to share. I'll be right back as we take off today. It's going to be super time. My team, you're welcome. Yeah. First time on Yansan TV. Yeah. You're welcome. How are you doing? I'm good. We are super happy to have you. Mm. Good. So today we are talking basically about mm. who you are oh, okay. and why you are here before we go into our topic. You've been watching this channel for some time, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been watching. How long? Oh, yeah. I for a very long time. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Why on this channel? Why not any other platform? Mm. You know, because of the message, you know, uh, uh -huh. yeah, you're helping raise the awareness um, okay. about consciousness. Okay. Yeah, so, and I have those sort of knowledges and then I want to share. Wow. So that is a very good platform. I find a very good platform to okay. share, share knowledge. knowledge. Yeah, my knowledge. Wow, is. you're welcome. Yeah, thank you. Now we take off. When you mention existence, mm. What is the meaning of the word existing? I exist, you exist. <laughs> it doesn't make sense to yeah, understand saying yeah. you exist, you die, people leave. They, so we don't understand the yeah. makeup, the cosmic na nature of how we come, we go, and all that, the <laughs> yeah. nature of existence. Yeah. Your understanding of this. Yeah, so when we say nature of existence, we are talking about um, people also call it the multiverse how the whole actual universe is being made up. Mm. Um, we have different planes of existence, okay? Um, and we have other aspects of existence itself. Okay, so um, we, we know creation is within existence. So we have existence and creation, where we are right now, is part of existence, okay? So there are levels to existence or there are planes and dimensions within existence. So when we say the nature of existence is basically the fundamental, the fabric of how it is being made, how it is all about, the knowledge of it, and how to even travel within those places. Okay. Yeah, that is what um, we, we mean, the nature of existence. Okay. Yeah, and while, what we are doing here, what is the purpose? Um, when we say so, what is so? Uh, I mean, people, are, people have different theories for it, but why are we here? What are we doing here? Um, so when you say nature of existence, it comprises a very lot of um, the whole idea. It comes with the whole idea and knowledge about the spirituality, about science, about everything. Okay. Because they are all within creation, or they are mm. all within existence. Mm. So there is no actual separation, although people sort of want to separate spirituality from this. But at the top of the game, you are all in one ball. Mm -hmm. Everything is happening within creation. Mm -hmm. So it is part of creation. Mm -hmm. Okay, that is why people, we call the universal law of oneness, that everything is one. Mm -hmm. Either science or spirituality or whatever it is, they are all one, okay? And we are all within existence. And we are all co-creating with the source. Okay. Yeah. Wow, so, so if you mention this, if I ask you what is existence, it's just a matter of we living. Mm, no. A existence comprises of we also live in it. Mm -hmm. Because there are many parts of existence. Mm -hmm. As I was saying, we have, um, we have, we call some the lower walls and the upper walls. Okay. We have the lower place. Some of people also call it the matrix. Okay. People also call it the simulation. Other people call it creation, as we are. The lower place. Planes. So that one is in five levels. Mm -hmm. We have the physical, astral, mm -hmm. causal, mental, and etheric plane. Okay, after that, that, we step out of creation. 
and we enter into a um, pure universe where soul actually resides, where we actually come from. Okay. So where we are, like we, uh, we, we are now on the physical plane, or the 3D, 3D dimension. dimension. Yeah, dimension, a planet called Earth. Now, there are other also dimensions within the physical plane, right? Which are? Which are, we call it, um, other dimensions. So, um, we use numbers because the dimension does not have names, but we, it is being separated by frequencies. Okay. Okay. So, we have the physical, which have its own dimensions within it. Okay. And we have the astros, which has its own dimensions. Other people call it realms within it. And we have the causal plane where people at Akatic Record is being stored. We have the mental plane. So we here, we are here to discover who we are as a soul. People also call it self-realization, mm. to realize who we are. And we are more like on the first level, and even on the first level, um, if you get to change your mind, you are at the lowest yeah, part down. of it, right? So that is the fundamental um, reason shows we are here. It's not about self-realization. Mm. And everybody is going through different and numerous form of experiences. So some here are spiritual, spiritualists. Mm -hmm. That is part of the experience. Mm -hmm. Some are religion, Christianity, mm -hmm. uh, some are Arab, etc. These mm -hmm. are all experiences wow. within <coughs> creation. Okay. So when we come here, all these experiences are around. Okay. So it's more like um, we take on the um, the character or the, the, the you know the experience and we play the experience. Okay. Because the soul. It's never all this things, okay? The soul is here to experience it, right? So that's why we say, it. Um, I mean, when we come to um, the physical, at this age, we sort of think things are separated. Even someone is doing spirituality, the person think it is, you know, special stuff than someone doing religion. Okay. But they are all experiences. Okay. They are all part of the game. If you are a mystical person and somebody mm -hmm. is not... In as much as the person is not, doesn't mean that what he is doing is not part of the, the process. The process. Okay. Okay. That is why we even have reincarnations and all okay. that. Because depend on the level you are in, depend on the experience you are going to have. Right? So some are Christian for now. They, that is the experience they need to experience right now in yeah. this moment. Some are spiritualists for so now. So don't try to change them. Thank you. No matter how you, hard you try, it will not work. It will not work. That is what will make them fulfill the assignment. Thank you. Within this manifest creation. Yeah. So when you, you are not fully awake, you may think, ah, these people, they are, they are not awake. You know, we are awake. I mean, they don't know what is going on in the universe. You are thinking you are in a higher power B or you are in a superior. No. Okay. These are all part of the game. Because all of these things, is more like an illusion. So is it, is it more like a, a script? So we're in a, in, a, in in a movie. Thank you. Act, there is a script. Yeah, that, that is everybody's it. part is playing a role. Thank to you. The one who is watching that movie. Thank you. Okay. So every experience everyone is having, even being poor, being rich, even what we are doing here, mm -hmm. even what I'm doing here, teaching, even you presenting, mm -hmm. every experience was put here already, was part of the process, was part of the game, or people call it the simulation or the matrix. So when we come here. We take on that, determine on our level, no? mm -hmm. we become those um, actors on those thank you. particular line of script. Thank you. Okay. And we start having those experiences, right? And through the knowledge we will have from the experience, you know, then that will determine how we are going to move up on the next level of the experience we are going to So get. we can talk about this without creation. Yeah. What do you understand about creation when it comes to existence? Because yeah. without creation, there is no nothing like existence. Okay, so <clears throat> that is also uh, uh, we are going to a little bit of metaphysical. Let's go. Okay, okay let's yeah. do it. So we have existence itself. Mm -hmm. Creation is didn't come from. Uh, I mean, uh, the people are saying once there is existence, there have to be a creator. Why is mm -hmm. it is wrong? Okay. The reason is existence. Okay, is the whole thing. Okay, like this is existence and creation is within existence. Creation is not out of existence. So okay. within creation, that is where we have start and stop. We have beginning and ending. We have what people call time. But outside of creation, mm, there's no time. There's no time, right? So that is why people have the uh, argument that will say, oh, okay, if there is God, then who created God, right? Because mm -hmm. whilst there is creator, there have to be a, 
there is a, what the they say, there was the creator. Right? Who created the creator? Thank you. But what they are forgetting is about time. To create something, you need the beginning and the end. And the end. But in the higher place, there is no time. So there is no beginning or create. So we, as consciousness, we were never created. Not this physical body. Okay. But consciousness, we were never created. We have always been existing. It is only time that makes us go in, well, that makes us experience beginning and ending. So when you are creating something, why there is a creation, you have to be a creator. So who create the idea from beginning and end? You, you, begin, you begin from creating it from here and ending in here. But those planes, time does not exist. Okay. It's only these are manifest creation that time exists. Thank you. Is that what you mean? Yeah. Okay. That is only where time exists. So out there is only eternal nowness. There's no time. Right? But when you are in creation, the beginning and stops. When the weather is cre creation, there must be a creator. While you are, we are using the phone, there has to be someone who created because we are redeemed creation. Right? Yeah. So that is why the Bible has a concept of creation. Yeah. And it's out of that creation that we came to existence according to yeah. the writings in the Old Testament, the first book mm. of the scripture, which is the Bible, yeah. according to it. I use yeah. the word according yeah. because that is what is written there. Mm -hmm. Other books have different concepts of creation. Mm -hmm. So if that is what we are standing by mm -hmm. in the form of explaining who, who brought this to exist, this existence before oh. we came to live it. That is a good question. <laughs> so there's no burden of existence because out there, there's no time. So existence has always been existing. It's a paradoxical in a way because this is a mystical stuff, right? We, this is not common sense stuff. Okay. That, okay, why there is creation, there have to be a creator. Because, oh yes and now you are removing different attributes from the explanation. Because we talk about state of consciousness. Mm -hmm. Depending on the person's state of consciousness depends on how the person understands the universe to be. Okay. Okay? So, existence itself has always been existing. Or the source, people call so it. So, there's not been anything called the start point? No. Starting point means we are bringing time. Also, that is where the confusion starts. Because we forget to... We don't understand time. What is even time? What is even space? Mm -hmm. Right? It is only time, okay? That is where we have start and stops. Mm -hmm. Okay? Without time, there is no start and stop. Mm -hmm. Because time does not exist. So, how were there start and stops? If there is time and stop, then there is time exists. So existence has always been existing. The consciousness, the soul, who we are, not this physical body, has always been existing. So tell me, where mm -hmm. are we? Where you see? Is it just like the Earth was there? There was nothing on it. No. The the, the 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 how do you call it? The the other planets were there and there was nothing so, on it. Yes. So how you see the the sun, the yeah. Earth, the planets revolve around it. It's just there's yeah. a a general setup that yeah, yeah. makes so, us live I want to understand how those things came okay, to be. Okay. So, so, when you're talking about it, it is within creation. So, they are start and stop in creation. Mm -hmm. So, the planets were being created. Mm -hmm. Okay? So, when we talk about the lower planes, which is the matrix, the matrix was being created. Okay? Mm -hmm. But to say maybe planet Earth was being created out of how it was being created is good because we need to go into a little bit of science and all this sort okay. of stuff. Right? But, when you talk about the lower planes, for example, um, we have the physical, as you know, the physical plane. Mm -hmm. We have the astral planes, right? Mm -hmm. The astral plane is the plane of our imagination. Mm -hmm. Okay, so when you start visualizing your imagining things, it starts manifesting in the astros, right? Okay. And people also have. So within all this matrix which was being created, Mm -hmm. Every matrix has its own laws governing it, more like a laws, law of physics okay. governing it, right? So, for example, um, planets are being born from nuclear um, fusions, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, and we have other beings in this physical plane. Mm -hmm. We know how to actually create planets. Okay. Okay. So maybe sometime you get into the creation story and we get into how some of these planets were being created. Okay. How this Earth, because our uh, our sun was being created, right? Because it is an artificial, right? Yeah. The, the sun is artificial. Yeah, when I say artificial, it means it was being created by certain beings. Okay, so it was not created by the one we call the creator. 
No, the <laughs> okay. You see, so, I'm getting confused. Yeah, because I'm pushing to yeah, yeah, yeah. the start point of everything okay. that we, we, we are on. Now. So the creator, uh -huh. most of like for example, you need to understand us about so below. Uh -huh. Pe someone created this. Uh -huh, the world phone. Right? It was not the creator. Mm -hmm. So the creator, okay, or the source, the better word, has put in the creative faculty within it within source. And that creative faculty is the imagination right so it is not the source coming to create the phone but the source has given it very aspect now it used to create mm -hmm. which is the imagination so most of the planets were actually created by source mm. okay not actually the source so he gave that energy to another being beings and they are using it create that yeah the moon the, the earth the planets the yeah. system the, the same sun. way we are also creating phones this these are all creation okay okay but once i mean when we talk about creation most of us go up there with the suns but it start from us above so below the same process which was used to create this shirt and everything is the same process and it comes from the imagination that everything everything we know come from that so i sit here and imagine that i want to I want to manufacture a new car like an tanker. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So that imagination is the astral plane. Yeah. And if I'm able to bring it to existence, I am a creator when it comes yeah. to that. Yeah. Okay, so who put these things that were created mm -hmm. to create together? Oh, that is the source. Okay. Who is so, the source? Okay, yeah. So let's go, get, get back. Okay, so we talk about consciousness. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the source is just a pure energy. Mm -hmm. Okay. And we are an aspect of it so we are as quality mm -hmm. and as quantity as the source there's no difference between us and the source okay right we are the same as the source are we part parcel of him or something yeah we, we just we like, are it and it is us okay at the same time i and my father are one that is it <laughs> <laughs> right okay so i that is, i think most religions talk about this how did we then leave the source to be this? Is oh. it like, let me throw you people around like, oh. like me. I sh like, like, <laughs> like the dog would do when, he, when, when he's wet. Yeah. Then the water yeah. was split. Is that how? How did yeah. we come to So we are more like children uh -huh. who are trying to realize who we are. Uh -huh. It's more like you have a child and you're taking the child to school to learn to become a good person uh -huh. in the future, right? In the same way we are right now. So in the lower worlds we are more like primary stuff do you know i'm asking a lot of questions i want you to link the things so we, we get the, to understand yeah so that yeah, we can create that basics for us to ride on so yeah. as i use the dog for example there mm -hmm. is rain the dog was coming when it, it, it fell on the dog and he's wet mm -hmm. when he gets to where there is no rain mm -hmm. you see the dog shaking itself he said mm -hmm. we are all part parcel of god so yeah. how do we how does he bring us like the bible will tell you and the, there was a first man second man and this oh. person came out of it we <laughs> became this before we became created so if it is dwarfs mm -hmm. how did they came to being before they started creating so the oh. things we have the manifest we are seeing mm -hmm. it came through processes yeah that's what we want to understand yeah. how do we even though we are part of him mm -hmm. how did we came into existence that is what i'm saying uh -huh. this creation we are in uh -huh. is a simulation like what we've gone to a driving school we have some simulations to so that you be perfect in what you're doing with the uh -huh. driving the creation we are in when we start i was saying creation is an aspect of existence okay where souls come in to have an experience to realize who they are which is self-realization mm -hmm. and because when we are coming we contain the aspect okay we contains everything the source contains like the imagination our willpower Okay, we can manifest things, okay, into existence through thinking of it, through doing it practically, and the thing will manifest. Okay? And even that crown, it is in levels. Because for example, the astros, the moment you imagine something, it is there. But here you imagine and give yeah. yoga and all meditations to yeah. to come into existence. Yeah, yeah. I am not against that fact. Mm -hmm. Let's pick up where I'm coming from. Okay. This is a, a gold uh -huh. ring. I want to create, uh, let's say, mm -hmm. another smaller ring out of this because mm -hmm. I said it's too big. Okay. I want it smaller. They will cut it into two. Yeah. Create that. Yeah. The same way the Bible explains mm -hmm. how he created the first man. 
Oh, okay. You understand? So okay. how did we, what process do we go through to come out of it? Creating the first one before the, that man started creating new us. Oh. As a generation. Second leaf is dwarf. How did the first one came about? Or is it just like, boom, we've appeared and we started procreation? Oh, no, no. So you're talking about humans. I, want to, I, want, I just want to use that as a, as oh, a basis okay. so that okay. we understand okay. all the other okay. one, how they okay. came about. Okay. So um, I was talking about the source. Okay. We, we are now, let's get into the source. Okay. How source can be into existence. Okay. Right? And to know how or when, it is impossible because time does not exist. We have always been existing, okay? We are an aspect. For example, the aspect is just, uh, the source is just one big energy, mm -hmm. okay? And we are just an aspect of it. For example, all the sekine, okay? That rays that come out of the sekine mm -hmm. mm -hmm. is who we are. If that is the sparkles, the, the sparks, that, ah, that is mm -hmm. the correct word. The sparks, you no? That is who we are, right? That is that is it. Okay, we just been progging out that just like that. So in that realm where the source is, you know, there is a whole process how souls are being made. But um, people also call it the ocean of love and mercy. Okay, mm -hmm. big oceans where souls are in, mm -hmm. right? So uh, I don't know. We were saying you should get into the basics. So if you want us to go there, there. No, no, I just want to understand mm -hmm. with that as a basis. Yeah, yeah. When you opened about the first thing, the, the creation they ah, talked about. Okay. So for me to understand from your point, mm -hmm. when I pick the Bible, I read and I get that, oh, then the first one was this is how ah, it was made. Okay. But now okay. you're saying something different from that yeah, particular message. Yeah. So I'll be confused oh. to understand because what I know is we human race is the first example that anybody that is watching oh. can use to understand yeah, where you're coming yeah, from so yeah, if it is yeah. human then go into detail and tell us yeah. how we okay, came so from then, the source then let me get into the hierarchies let's take it okay so first we have the source okay and then we have people called we call them the silent ones okay they are the one who create the universes that is why we say the source does not actually create but it have an aspect of it Thank that you. creates the so that and those silent ones, you know, is the one creating the planes of existence. Okay. And in within every plane of existence, mm -hmm. there are rulers within who are managing those planes of existence. Okay. Okay? So that is where the Hindus get the brown, the car, okay? These are all rulers within... The chakras, right? No. Okay. These are actual rulers, like okay. governors. Okay. Ruling the whole entire the Brahman. Place. Okay. Yeah, okay? They are just rulers. Okay, so from the source, we have the silent ones, and then we have those manifestors, um, we have recorded the source manifestation. It is not the source, but they are just a representation of the source. Okay, so they are managing the whole entire plane. Okay. Okay, and from that, we have the masters, the ascended masters, those beings who have attained God realization. Mm -hmm. Okay, and from that, we get into different um, angels and um, other beings mm -hmm. and coming to humans, mm -hmm. right? Now, we humans, first, I don't describe us as humans. Okay. We are souls. Okay. We are consciousness. Okay. We are never this. We are actually living this in here. I think every religion says it. We are not this physical. Physical. We, this is just a house. That is it. Okay. Okay. So we are actually the consciousness in this, in this body. Okay. Okay. And when it comes to the creation of this body, uh -huh. there's also a lot to it. Okay, because it has started for a very long time. Um, when people start to talk about creation, they forget about Madagaya. Who? Madagaya. What is Madagaya? As I say, as, um, oh. okay, yeah. Um, in the, we have something called the Galactic Federations. Right? Mm -hmm. In order for them to seed um, genetic cores into every planet, okay? It, um, okay, so when you say Galactic Federation, if people don't understand, for example, we have the UN, the AU, okay? Mm -hmm. um, we have beings in this physical universe who have formed a federation, like a union, okay? To help seed beings into different planets. Okay. Genetic codes, so that those beings will start, um, those genetic codes will start developing, and that planet will get its own primitive beings, all right? So before those things can even come in, inside, those beings need to communicate with the consciousness of that planet okay every con every planet have its own consciousness okay b every sun have its own consciousness every galaxy have its own consciousness mm -hmm. every universe have its own, own consciousness. consciousness okay
Okay. For the same way we are this physical, in this physical, using this physical, and we are souls. The same way that these planets have a soul. Okay. The same way the sons to have souls, they are actual beings. Mm. I think when you go to the Egyptians, you call it Ra. Okay, the sun god. Amen, Ra. Amen, Ra. The same way when you go to a galactic core level, in those galaxies, you know, they are actual beings. Okay, and they are also in the form of male and female. Okay, a lot okay. of duality, yin and yang. Right. Mm -hmm. And every universe is too, or every planet, or let me say, universe is too, has its own beings ruling the universe. Okay. Right. So. Those federal people, the federation I was talking about. So when I'm about to see a genetic code in every planet, they have to consult the consciousness of that planet okay. or the being of that planet, mm -hmm. right? And that is where the process start to, you know, develop from different species. That is why people have um, this evolution process, like we come from chimpanzees and all mm -hmm. this sort of mm -hmm. stuff, right? Okay. Yeah, and along the way. In our creation story, the, the Anunnakis also comes in. We have people called the Anunnakis, mm -hmm. other beings from the Orion star system, right? They also came in to splice um, their DNA with us, okay? So we found time to get into the creation story about, you know, what me have found through my projections, mm -hmm. okay? Because these are all coming from what I have been experiencing and what I've been going through. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we get into it. So when it comes to our physical this okay mm -hmm. there are many many other beings mm -hmm. okay coming together because when you like even black people we have those who are short mm -hmm. and that is who they are they cannot change it <laughs> yeah <laughs> we have those we have those <laughs> we have those who uh -huh. are very tall that is uh -huh. who they are even um, most mm -hmm. of the time because mm -hmm. this is a genetic thing so why are there differences? It means these people are having different genetics. Okay. We have those who are big. Yes. What they will do, they are, they, that is who they are. So there are other beings mm -hmm. who have been able to um, uh, mix their seed with humans. Okay. And we, have, we are having different species mm. over length, mm. right? So I think we, have, we get a time to talk about a creation story because... Um, um, we, there are many, many beings around, and okay. even black people, we are not the same. The only difference is the melanin. But the genetics, we are different. Okay, that is why yeah. some are short, some are slim. That is, who, that is how they are. The are slim. Like genetics, what do you have? You pass on to you. Unless it be a, you know, no, no, no. Thank you. And also, no, 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 Baku and Baku itia. Umbe wo average. And I said Baku be itia, it be itia, it be a tin tin. Because they are two genetics. We human coming on there, we just came, pump. We came. No. So was there a start point? Yeah. So who then created man? Yeah. So that is what I'm saying. There is a whole lot process in the physical body. Okay. But most of the souls, when you talk about the soul, how we came into this physical body, uh -huh. I think we all know through the woman womb, uh -huh. right? So, uh, which is the astral. Come, most of us come from the astral, uh -huh. okay? And when the, um, the so, body... So we're there, mm -hmm. and uh, God want to drop us on this earth. No. He just drop us through. I just want to understand that even if it's the first man, mm -hmm. we are here in existence, we are there, but then... For us to come into this creation yeah. system, so, was it yeah. through a process? Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, there's a process. Uh -huh. So first, we pure beat as consciousness, right? Um, when we come from the higher planes, okay, and we step down into the third plane, and through, also we have five bodies. Mm -hmm. The physical body, astral body, causal body, etheric body, mm -hmm. and the soul mm -hmm. is the last one. Mm -hmm. So all these bodies are wrapping the soul. Okay. Okay. So when souls are coming, Okay, the first thing the souls put on is the subconscious mind, okay, and the mind, and the mind too. Okay, and depending on the experiences that the person will have on the mental plane, you know, it depends on how the person is going to come down or where the person is going to come. Okay, so for example, there are people on the uh, they will first come into the mental plane, hmm. right? And some of them on the mental plane, there's a whole level because you have their cardiac records. Some of us will go there and choose our life um, path, what we want to do, 
okay, which will be the starting point. What's the Akashic record? Okay, so the Akashic record is a place where information is being stored. Information about uh, the whole entire multiverse. universe. Is so when you're coming, you first go there. Yeah. To go and look to go and pick what you're coming to do on that. Yeah, sir. So you need a course. Because we are living in cause and that's where you pick that's where you pick your script from. Thank you. The first script. I'll be right back. This is going to be interesting. So the questions are back-to-back -back just to find the basis of what he's saying. I'll be right back. Welcome back. So, so we, 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 we want to set the premise. Yeah. Because you will never understand existence mm -hmm. if what we already have about it yeah. is not really explained. That is yeah, why that is... I'm pushing this question. Yeah, and I like the question. Because, because, just confused yeah. about it. People will just be confused and yeah. tell the people, okay, okay, can. I yeah. want to understand. If I want to feel that existence, I like, yeah. can't just boom, I appeared. No, yeah. nothing like that happens. Yeah. It goes through a process. So mm -hmm. you first go to the records to go and pick. So who course. decide who should come? Okay, so that is the decision of the source um or mo even us most of the time because we need to self-realize ourselves who we are so i've never been i've, I've never been on this edge what is self-realization if i have then okay i'm okay, okay there i've never come on this edge before mm -hmm. how do i decide that hey i want to go and experience no uh -huh. in that time because we've not self-realized we are not in decision making of the whole stuff uh -huh. Okay. So let's take somebody who have never experienced it. Mm -hmm. That is the beginning. Yeah. So we've never experienced this yet. Mm -hmm. Therefore, we are coming. Yeah. Who decide who should come? Is it okay. the, the source? Yeah. So, I mean, we are, are you, we are talking about creationism of all this earth. No, it's a creation, but then definitely we are human. Okay, so, so let's start from our point. <laughs> okay, that best. Yeah. Us so, because if you explain that of tree, we cannot. We yeah. So trees. We have people who are in charge of incarnating people in other dimensions and other planes of existence, mm -hmm. right? So th these are the people who um, maybe you are in the astral, you want to come and have an experience in the physical. So um, when there is, the woman is pregnant, mm -hmm. okay, it creates a portal within the astral, okay? And those portals only lead to those people who are actually um, in control of how people are going to go in because other than that there are there will be other beings coming in so there are people controlling how people are going to get in how the experiences they deserve to have either to be born in the u.s or america there are people who you know do all this sort of stuff so when the womb the um when it reach okay so when the child is being developed uh -huh. okay and it developed to a certain point the frequency hits okay and it creates a portal in the astral okay and every source who is ready okay can step in so the stepping in is when the the mother is going through the labor so throughout the when the, the mother is how the you know is pregnant um the child is being developing okay the soul is not in yet when a soul a living being come into the body that is where the mother you know feel she wants to go to labor Right, so that is where the portal hits. So even with Charles, you see that they come, they enter through the crown chakra, right? So that is why Charles, you see the um, when they are born first, the their hair will be you know breathing. breathing. That is the so that is where most of us we also used to. That is the gateway. You can also use to exist out of your body, okay? And people also use the third eye, okay? Yeah. So that is here. So they come through here and they enter the body. Mm -hmm. So when the frequency hits, it creates the portal, and then the people assembles to come in, and um, that was the initial, okay, way or the default way how it was being done. But anyone who has been projecting and know what is actually going on this planet knows our planet is being hijacked, okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah, hijacked like how? Yeah. So in more like it has been hijacked. The process of how we are here to do how people comes in and go out, it's been hijacked. Hijacked by who? Where is the source? Okay. No, that's so okay. <laughs> so, uh, why are you when are you are the source and no, people are hijacking what? No, you so are, the are. source is not actually okay. So, when they forgive, creation, forgive me, <laughs> yeah, uh, and while I am going back, okay. Uh, so, when the creation was being created uh, or the matrix, the simulation was being created, uh -huh. okay, everything, uh, um, we have the we have laws governing. 
uh -huh. this creation. Uh -huh. We have one law is um, duality. Uh -huh. The law of duality. Everything is in already in balance. Uh -huh. So with that balancing of the universe, everything is already perfect. Uh -huh. So the source does not need to interfere in everything we are doing here. Okay. It doesn't interfere because everything, either you like it or not, either you think you are this, someone is this or someone is that, you may not be understanding why it is happening because you don't understand the highest purpose of what is going on. Mm -hmm. Okay. So since everything is already perfect and everybody is where he or she has to be, like what you are doing right now, mm -hmm. you need to be doing that right now, this right now. Okay, because you want to create an awareness, share knowledge. Mm -hmm. Okay, but there are people, they will not even choose this. They will not even, if the opportunity is going to come, they are not going to, they are going to do their own thing. Maybe that is what they will have to experience in this lifetime. Okay. So everything is already imperfect. So it's more like the beings in the creations, you know, it's more like the game going on, the dramas, okay, going on within creation, no? mm -hmm. the source is just back acting because everything is already in perfect balance. Wow. Okay, so when I say the, the planet is being hijacked, <laughs> okay, um, there are planets to it has not been hijacked. Okay, so... So, Earth is hijacked. Yeah, and we need to understand every yeah, experience, who? I'll come there, every experience, okay, is living in a dual form. Okay. That make the whole universe balance. Okay. So, while there is good, there is bad. Mm -hmm. Whilst we, some, some are poor, some are rich. rich, it balances the universe. So whilst maybe our planet is being hijacked, some other planets are not. They are happy, mm -hmm. living, and it balances. Okay? So the only idea is that you go to the house, you go the house. I get it. Right? So in your face, you know, you are in the partner account, you make us acquire the internet. But you don't have to acquire the baby. Right? So that is how the Bionia you work in the negative aspects. We think, ah, why is the source doing it? Why? Right? Because we are counting. So you think maybe there's something wrong. But in the higher perspective, it is perfect. Because every experience in existence always have its own counterpart. The law of duality. In, in simple put, mm -hmm. if you ask every Christian who created the world, he will tell you God. Yeah. The first day he created the heaven and the earth. Mm -hmm. He did this. He did yeah, that. Yeah. He created Adam mm -hmm. and Eve. He, 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 fought, he made Adam fall to sleep, mm -hmm. take his rib and create yeah. a woman. He said, this is your flesh, my flesh, and all that. So there is a, a part story. Yeah. But from where you are coming from, yeah, I mean, we are totally confused <laughs> as to how yeah. we came to be. Because yeah. it looks as if it is not explainable. It's, it's explainable, but you need a certain state of consciousness to understand. Most of this cannot un be understood by the... Just a simple interview like this. Yeah, or just... And yeah, if you want to take it. Because the reason be some of the stuff I'm saying, some people will be, be confusing because they don't the level of their understanding and their perception of the universe, you know, it endure that level. So they will not understand. Okay? So there that is what descriptions. Typical examples. For example, mm -hmm. if it is a it is like a, a home setting where mm -hmm. We, are, we wanted the place was just a bare land mm -hmm. that we want to build a house. Mm -hmm. I have the money. The mm -hmm. money becomes a source. Mm -hmm. So the money is not the one building. Yeah. But then somebody must put the money into use mm -hmm. so it will become the building. Even when the building is coming and somebody must paint it, somebody must do this. So yeah. all of them will come together to come and form that act we are talking mm -hmm. about mm -hmm. before you put people to come and live in yeah. their house so yeah. can we use something to to describe this existence you're talking about yeah okay <laughs> so <laughs> i get where you are coming from but okay so that is what i was saying existence itself didn't come because it does it was not brought out of time it was i think i'm gonna say even there, there but within creations, there are levels of how things are being created because of the idea of time. Emre, why did the existence create time? Yeah, create, I want to understand. Yeah, if we are there and we are not supposed to do anything, who was chasing them to bring this setting? I, I want so to understand. That setting, Amika said, it for our own good to have an experience to realize ourselves, not this physical body, but as a soul. Okay, so it's more like. For example, I just say school, and you are creative. Uh -huh. And you are the Makokum. Obibaya class prophet. 
Oh, but yeah, every yeah, practice. It, it doesn't make sense. Let me say it this mm -hmm. way. It doesn't make sense in the sense that I am here. Mm -hmm. I am comfortable. Mm -hmm. What I'm supposed to do, we are doing it. Without the creation, we are still in full existence. Okay. Why do you create something for people to go and experience? Yeah. Then they tend to come back and say, come, our ring can need you to go and correct your errors. Meanwhile, we were perfectly in an, an, an existence that oh. there's no time, there's okay. no start, there's no end. So it doesn't so, make sense for this creation no. thing. So when you say we are perfect, I'm not talking about perfection. We are talking about state of consciousness, uh -huh. state of understanding. The same thing. If I use the word perfect, I'm using it that we are coming to experience this yeah. life. So, so that it means that we, we are going, we are going to go through life, mm -hmm. either we get it right or wrong. So which because, means uh -huh. we were lacking something. And we are here to find that something that there is no time to. How will you be lacking something? You there is no time to uh -huh. it. There is there is it's existence. Okay. Nothing is wrong at that stage. Now we are there is more problem here than no. the real existence. No, there is no problem here. Uh -huh. Okay. You there is a problem here. No, you think there is a problem. Is a problem. <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> you will think it's a problem, okay. but it's not a problem. Okay. Okay. So what I'm saying is, we are like sick and I, yes, and uh -huh. as part of it. Where we are, we are just, we don't know what has happened. What is here? Okay? So, in order for us to realize ourselves, mm -hmm. they have to be sort of, we need to become who we are not, so that we, we realize who we are. Mm -hmm. So, you need to become this physical body. We need to go to work. We need to, you know, do all that stuff. So that we will actually realize that, oh, this is who we actually are. Because the source as a totality of consciousness, you know, it knows what it is. But we are kind of don't know. So we are here to have those experiences. To Did we know us. before coming or? No. We, we didn't know. Yeah. When we got here, yeah. we still don't know. We still don't know. So we are here to find. That is what the simulation is about. So through the experiences, someone being spiritual, someone being this, someone being that, you know, you could cut, you, when we are we were able to go through those numerous experiences, uh, that is where we will come to the realization that, oh, this is actually who we are. Now, just like, so what you're saying is just like a library. Mm -hmm. We enter into the Akashi record, Akashi records as in the library. Mm -hmm. So I choose a particular storyline mm -hmm. that I'm coming to experience. Yeah. Ah, this book, Titan, Bear yeah. Depa, yeah. and I pick that book, come into existence to yeah. come and play that particular role yeah. in this life. And that will also conform to another person's role. Mm -hmm. And in the role, I'll be meeting so many people who have picked similar books that yeah. some chapters will be closed, mm -hmm. others might differ, mm -hmm. there will be battles somewhere, mm -hmm. and all come together to form that. And that is not a problem. Yeah. So why then will we be judged if it's not a problem? There's no judge, there's no karma, it's all an illusion. There's no judgment. No. There's no karma. No. <laughs> Karma is not real. It's an illusion. So we will not, we will not pay for the no. errors we have done. No, everything is here now. So we born one more and you are Future does not exist. It's, it's more like uh, an illusion. It depends on the now. Okay. So Obi the idea Ibu. of karma, yeah. Obi Ibu. No, we are your dear. Oko, Obi Ibu. Oko. Also, the idea of karma idea come from the Hindu whatever teachings and you know this is our idea, human idea to control people how they behave. Oh. That is all. Why don't you remember our past experiences? So acquire bonnet, okay? Now we chana so on kaya de now yeah or yeah no na uchana. So he is bound to repeat it again. No say tianika. No asa so it's keep us in a loop. Always coming back again. Right? No. So we, you don't believe in reincarnation? Reincarnation is there. So why are we come then why are we coming back? If you don't reincarnate, reincarnate because of karma, no. I'm here. What now came when we were free? What's up? So called Tremubium. It doesn't mean old Tremu first, now you'll be meeting our called Tremubium. No. Incarnation is natural. Re it means you've come again. Who knows the reason? Maybe you will pass over more bush and phobia. Oh, but so baby. It doesn't depend on what you did and it didn't want bad. No. So, as I said, this, we need to understand the karma that the idea is cause and effect. But I'm sabbat and my baby, yeah, here and now. Okay, I'll come to now the dear, I'll bear me here and now. I'll come on now the dear, I won't find nine, but when somebody and I can say future and a bayo, yeah, boom, a bayo, yeah, a bayo, yeah, that is that instant. It is the same way, um, you look at nature, right? We are bow, boom, baby, a fossil, a here and now, yeah. 
And uh, so yeah, man, what is your baby? So what yes, yeah, so if the person does not take revenge, mm -hmm. there's no orchestration to say the the source no orchestrate it. No. So not be not be no B two B two. B two. Yeah. So that is why we need to be wise and attention. For example, in nature, forest, right? Everything is nature is survival of the fittest. Jata we will say they also have souls like us. Jata we who pro not chenye watchina we so pro not tete am for now kwa kusia watchina we free. The same appears to the humans, okay? So it's as and if it's even like even as above so below. Mm -hmm. So that is what is going on in the other planes of existence, like the astral causal mental. That is what is going on there. Because what is going on there is what we are doing here. The corruption, the government, whatever. The same way in the astral, there are people, the government, they are different entities. So more money here, they will try to take advantage of you. One more energy, I would call. So that is why we say, sir, even of the afterlife, you know, attain all the knowledge you, you need to attain before you get there. Because that is a whole new territory. You are when getting you are afterlife. So, for example, I need to align with the universe. Mm -hmm. Are there expectations that the universe is expecting from every living soul here? Oh, okay. So, because if you mention afterlife, mm -hmm. it is something before the after life before afterlife. So okay, okay. So after experiences, that okay, experiences. We go through that because of that. The afterlife is going to be either yeah. or so. So yeah, 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 yeah. For that. example, a belief system. Uh -huh. And okay, so the astral plane. Uh -huh. Is a product, a plane of our imagination. <laughs> I understand. And I like, I like <laughs> the question. <laughs> it makes make me to express myself very well. Okay. The astral plane uh -huh. is the plane of our imagination. When you think of going into your mother's house, proof you are there. Those who do astral projections, they know. Mm -hmm. So the same way, when you die and go into the astral plane, you need to be aware of your belief system. If you believe you are going to hell, you will manifest that thing is going to manifest for you to go and have that experience. <clears throat> if you are you think you are going to um, heaven, that is going to take you there. Mm -hmm. Okay, because of what you believe, your strong belief system. Mm -hmm. Those who think who do the traditional stuff, okay, they are going to see traditional the ancestors. The ancestors. So there is no exact how they are uh, when we die how what happened people are saying you'll be here 72 weeks or uh, 72 uh two weeks or before the soul will leave and all that everyone is different like look at it like maybe traveling to us uh -huh. or you are us coming to ghana maybe you are a good person there are people to you <laughs> there are people to you on the airport one i better than i china you know or or a tour right now we'll be i will see for my no i can bag yeah 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 so as above so below mm. so if you don't prepare yourself here to get the mad knowledge okay like for example if you see a crazy to quiet you start to do more research about the place you are going to go. I mean, you can say I will check their weather condition, the kind of clothes I'm supposed to take. What they, they call Rwanda, they, they, they don't accept plastics. Okay. So I read a lot about them and <laughs> my packaging, you know, nothing. Yeah. Even solid tip the far, they are not in the airport. So uh, you realize that they, yeah. that is their rule. So you begin to read about them. So it's normal. Okay. But then yeah. we are here. We will be leaving this body. Yeah. And going on another journey. So what are the rules? And I'm of saying, existence now as we are living before the they, no 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 that is what i'm saying the rules is do your best to acquire the knowledge so that you will protect your own self i'm talking about the same not what knowledge are you talking about okay the same no, no what are we are talking about okay the knowledge of the universe how who, the universe who, works who, who, who decide which one is the right knowledge which one is not okay that is where so there's no decision uh -huh. but reality uh -huh. is going to teach you uh -huh. Okay. What is reality? Is it common sense? No, not common sense. Talk to us. So we talk about learn how to go into those planes. That to understand the planes before. Yeah. And that is actual existence. That is where you start living. So I have, I have done a lot of projections. Mm -hmm. Personally, I've done a lot of projections. Mm -hmm. I've done astral travels and all that. So I've, I've experienced how that dimension is. So, okay. so, so there are certain, there are certain mm -hmm. things mm -hmm. you, you experience and when you come, you, you understand that it's not as we thing it is so mm -hmm. it might be or it might not so, yeah. Yeah. Who, so what judgment on what judgment can you conclude that this one was good a good travel okay. this one so, was not experience uh -huh. 
it's an experience. It's fine. Everyone can have an experience, right? So what is the quality of your experience you're talking about? What, did you just get got there for an excursion, for just experiences there? Mm -hmm. Or you got there and learn? Mm -hmm. This is what I'm talking about, is conscious projection. Like you have your print uh, ticket to go to US every time you like. All right? So that is where in my um, classes, so we talk about how to project your consciousness there. You close your eyes, you do your practice techniques and you get there so that you start learning what is going on behind the scenes because reality is actually what is behind the scenes so it's not you or a written book that determines no uh, uh, what to say and what, what no to do, it's your to own do. personal experiences okay so that is why when we come into my i say learn to have your own experiences and it's not just an experience you're having you're not just going to as an excursion to explore and come what do you get from the experience? What do you learn from it? After that, can you go to other dimensions too? Consciously, if you like, or not? Can you go there and come back? Okay? The other people, like, maybe they take, take maybe mushrooms and DMTs. These are all just kind of a sketch. You went there, you have an experience, you can. Okay? Even those experiences, uh, most of them, you are not in control of it. All right? But it is you, because consciousness, who we are as a soul, we are beyond what is called time and space. Because where we come from, there's no time, there's no space. So that is why there are even removed viewing. There are even projections where you can close your eyes and see afar. Because space, this from the place you are and place you are viewing, you transcend that. So you can get there um, in an instant moment. People have been doing removed viewing to see even the future, 20, 50 and all this stuff. Right? So consciousness, we have the ability to transcend space and time. Right? So all we need to do is learn the exact techniques so that in every problem moment we want to go anywhere, we close our eyes, we initiate the techniques, proof we are there. So that is what we call, um, that is even what is spirituality is all about. Okay? It is not about all this sort of stuff. It is about inner journeys, going within yourself wow. and experiencing the inner, the higher realities. Mm. Okay? So... We should be learning first. That is the first stuff. So the first, I, I always say, learn about psychology. Mm -hmm. Because when you're talking about psychology, you are, you are, you are attacking the mind, mm -hmm. the universal mind. After mm -hmm. that, um, you get into the projections and start experiencing the multidimensionality of yourself. You have other power universes you can visit. You have your other self. You have other universes, other realms. You can go there and live there come back like you are living as we are talking this is super it's it's, it's a very tough co conversation but still uh, i'll be right back l let's see how this one will end what's your experience like have you been to the astral planes before have you entered into any other plane before i'll be right back So I'll come back to the first question. What is assistance? Okay. <clears throat> so, now that you've taken time to point so many things, yeah. if somebody asks you to briefly explain what you termed as existence, yeah, so what is it? In simple terms, existence is everything. <laughs> everything. Everything is existence. And the nature of it is what we start to understand how it works, how life works, what is even life, what do we have to do. Uh, are, there other, uh, are there other beings uh, when it came to the psychological even uh, local stuff people are having different school of thoughts people are having different knowledge and, and all that. yeah I mean someone is saying this, someone is saying this what is all, why? why is everybody having different, even in Christianity, Bible, everyone is having different explanations dimensions about the same right? because we are using the mind okay? and the mind can um, create its own um, theories Right, so that is why even this is what this thing is saying. But the person, okay, no, this is what I'm looking at it, right? Because that is how the mind does. Okay, it creates different theories and different philosophies to explain something. Okay, so that is where we get into the psychology of how the mind works. Okay, yeah. <laughs> we have the subconscious mind. Uh -huh. We have even linguistic programming. Someone can control you through words. And it is not magic. It is psychologically, subconsciously. No, the person will be programming you. You understand the emotions and yeah. you, how weak you are. Yeah. You are so emotionally. that is what I'm saying. Is this, uh, we're talking about this. Uh, it is everything. Everything. 
our universe, the sun, life, religion, spirituality. Who controls it? No one actually controls it. It has been like a machine. Spark it, you. Oh, somebody it. spark it. That's what I mean. Somebody's what? Somebody spark it. It's a machine. Somebody spark yeah. it. Yeah. So who is the, the controller? Is the one who sparks it? That's what yeah, I so you say the source. But it is, when you say control, it's more like, wow, you see, you see. No, it is just... But if it's like a script, somebody wrote a script. Yeah. So that's what I'm saying. It was being created. So everything is already there. Uh -huh. Perfect balance. So there's no rearranging or everything. Okay, so for example, for the sustenance, you know, uh -huh. of the we, we have the rulers, the servers, um, uh, we call it, um, the, the servers are uh, a pole, okay? Um, so we have something called, uh, okay, so the whole universe come out of light and sound, okay? And those light and sound, you know, it flows down into the source, into the physical plane, and goes back. It kind of, the energy, that is what people call the spirit. It is in everything, okay? It is everything, even the phone, the camera, everything mm -hmm. contains the spirit. Because that very energy, that is actually um, controlling everything. Mm. Okay, so that energy comes out of the source, okay? And then we have those manifestations or those rulers takes in on the energies to distribute, okay? And more like um, use it to sustain the plane so that the experiences will continue going on. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So, so we, we have come to existence because we want to come and experience. Yeah. And it's our duty to follow certain tenets, right? Yeah. I mean, so that we enter into the next dimension. Yeah. I'm just paraphrasing all the things you've said. <laughs> yeah, that's not. If we enter there, mm -hmm. we will not be found wanting. Yeah, yeah. That one there, you'll be used to quite a battery. I mean, what there are so many. In, in that plane, when we leave this physical body, yeah. We die, let's say when we die, I'm talking about the lose yeah, this body. Yeah. What is in that realm? How are we treated? H horrible. <laughs> the astral plane is horrible. Um, unless maybe the higher astral planes, there's a little bit um, higher vibrant beings there. Mm -hmm. But for the lower astral beings, no. Um, that you is horrible. Who goes there? Who doesn't? Everyone goes there. Uh -huh. But those who want to, the negativity is so much. Like the lower astrals. If you go there, even those who do astral projections, right, you don't know what you're getting yourself into. Those beings are, are pure evil, <laughs> right? They would like to control, usurp your energies and control people, okay, through their emotions and through other sort of things, right? So that is why we say, be careful, learn what you need to learn, so, so that when you get there, you're not going to get into trouble, okay? There are people using for... A lot of souls are being captured wow. using for a lot of stuff. Even energy source. But the way you're saying it, it means that you said everything is like a script. You're just actors. Mm -hmm. and if you've created me that nothing is necessarily the problem uh -huh. and I'm acting, uh -huh. and you put me to where there's kind of punishment and the place they are evil and all that, uh -huh. so where does the evil force into play? Yeah, so we have an, an um, what do you call it? An experience of free will. That's make us maybe think we have the ability to change. It's more like, if this experience, no, I have to make this, no. You can change it if uh -huh. you like. That will get into different timeline. Uh -huh. And that is where we get into parallel universes or parallel lives. Uh -huh. um, because of time, uh -huh. okay? I think we get to uh, talk about space and time so uh -huh. that people will get to understand. So this experience, maybe you are this. I think now you can change it to do whatever you want to do. I can decide to get yeah. a new lifestyle. Thank you. At first, now me a gentle person, my hair rasta. <laughs> Something like that. We'll book okay. a bank. I was ah, you used to be very innocent. As I said, my head is more old. But when we threw it, we threw it rasta. I just say, no, at first you were innocent. So is that what you mean by I can decide to change yeah. whatever I want to change? Yeah. Okay. As so you, you get to experience that, maybe that is why I came to experience. So, why yeah. are you punished for the experiences? There is no, no punishment, though. You are not punishing, no one is punishing. When you enter to that place, is that the place is terrible? No, they, they are not punishing you. They are, what are they doing? No, it is those beings out there trying to manipulate you the same way, like you, you are working some place, you are working at, working around, and someone come and attack you. So, so they are negative entities. Uh -huh. So, when you get there, and you are not careful, and you get into bad territories, in the astral, so they may start to, to any of the territories. You decide the territory. That is it. That is why you need to learn about the afterlife because when you die, you don't know where you are. Where you are. 
some of us will be just moving around. So if you're able to experience it ahead of time, you get there, you know what is there. And is that why we need to know? Yeah. Okay. Right? And need to go to where? Even said where you want to go after that. Choose a different plan, different realm. And after that, you project there right away. But if you don't know this knowledge, there are people still, de they are dead, but still working around. Well, when you, when you see them, you see them, this guy. Yeah. Go very dear. So if you do projection and walk around, you could see people walking around. They don't know what to do. They're just walking around. They, 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 they didn't know about yeah. the afterlife and people yeah. are taking them for granted. Yeah. Why would they, they uh, how do you call it, the source allow them to go through that? Yeah. So that was not part of their creation or part of their 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 existence on it. So that is all that is all part of the game. Oh so the same yeah, the same way you every experience is in a dual form. So the same way I will learn to get out. Someone will not learn and be attacked out there. Okay. Right? So it balances itself. So we need to understand that every experience is under one law. And the law is um, yin and yang, that law, duality, and everything cancels on itself. So what's there is this? That, that, that thing. Yeah. What's there? Someone is experiencing. Someone is experiencing this. So it is your choice that you will move from here to here. You decide which one. Yeah, you want to experience. You want to. You would like to experience. Okay. So as you live today, mm -hmm. you must experience what is ahead of you. Yeah. Uh, upgrade yourself to that level. So yeah. that when you get there, you'll be able to yeah. navigate your way through. Navigate your way through. Yeah. Wow. And if so you want to, want existing, to come back. The, exist, the existence of nature is not <laughs> necessarily the things that live mango near the ekoshaha. No, it has a lot to do with the creation and itself. how things work. Yeah. So, so we are like actors on this planet. Yeah, so that is why it becomes very, very, um, you know, because people don't learn this stuff um, because of, um, it was done for a reason. I, I was saying this planet was being hijacked, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, there are people who want to control us, um, usurp our energies. So they've been able to create all this um, state of consciousness people are walking through. Okay, um, people are getting themselves into a different sort of stuff and religions and spiritualities mm. and all this sort of stuff, mm. right? But they, they, they don't know what the role deal is, right? Um, if they know the end results, yeah, they, they don't know, try. yeah, because everything is part of the game, it's more like an illusion because the game is not, is not real, mm. it's just a simulation. Mm -hmm. Everything is an illusion, only your consciousness is real. How do I get my consciousness? Yeah, you start by experiencing the multidimensionality of yourself straight away. You I start mean, experiencing the yeah, multidimensionality yeah, of yourself. Yeah. And I think the other time I was teaching or someone was asking a question about, okay, um, I have to do meditation for many times. I'm like, what? No, you don't have to. Realizing who you are as a soul is just a realization. It's just a knowingness. You don't go through external process for a very long time to realize who you are because that, that is who you are already. You're just forgotten about it. And it's just realizing who you are because everything is within you. Okay, the whole universe is a reflection of what is within. Mm. Right? You are the whole universe. And it's just a realization of it that you are so. So you don't need to go through anything to realize yourself. No. You, it's just a realization that you are so, and then it takes. To what extent will you say that Yansa has realized himself? Oh, what 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 would make you feel that this person is a, a your perception of the reality we are dealing with, your perception of the universe, how you perceive the universe to be. Give me an example. Okay, for example, what um, and what will I say for you to say this guy? Per what he's saying, he has said A B C D. Based on that, I can say he has his yeah. full realization of himself or herself. Okay. Oh, oh. Okay. Okay. First, when someone can do projections, okay, the person is there. Okay. And I talk about project, and my teachings and what I do is based on the projections because what is the essence of you talking, 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 and no one is experiencing it. I think people go through this on Ghana here and the social media stuff. People talk, talk, talk. But there is no actual practice on the ground for people to experience it. Mm. And it is not about my experience. I can talk about my experience. But what are, you, are this going to benefit you if you are not have your own experience? Wow. So the experiential part is the crucial of it all. It's not about listening. You can listen to information. Fine. Okay, this, this. Fine. It's just an information. But 
what has been your experience after listening? Yeah. Have you been able to experience it? And what was your experience? That is what matters. That is what matters. Wow. Because wow. it's more like an individual. Right? So you have to get your own, ten you have to know what you are doing. You know, to get on your grounds and do the practices and have your own experiences. Wow. That is where learning starts from. Wow. Wow. Tell me, you, you, how did you become who you are today? From where you are coming from, you don't believe in Christianity, you oh. don't believe in Islamic religion, but their doctrines are mm -hmm. different from what you're saying. Mm -hmm. You just jump to become, you yeah. said, the name is Ita what? Ita Naibi. Ita Naibi. Yeah. Which yeah. is quite confusing. What yeah. name is that? Is that so, how your father named you? No. no. What's I mean, your name? I'll hide it for now. You will not mention your name. <laughs> <laughs> I had it for that, but okay. the idea is, um, it's more like we are all just passing through, right? And then um, you cannot just, I mean, people in spiritual How did stuff. you come to this realization? Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm coming, I'm coming, right? Okay, so it starts from childhood, right? And then it starts from me experiencing all this, what I'm talking about, about the projections. And then um, you see, there are more confusions. You started right? reading books or something? No. <laughs> so I want to know how. Yeah, that's what I'm saying through the projection. You used to go to church? No. Nah, from childhood? No, not pretty much. Mm -hmm. you know. I mean, I, I used to I play keyboard, so I used to <laughs> go to different churches to play, but, you know, it is all part of the game. It is, just a, like, it is just an awareness. You can talk with someone about the whole Bible, but you know what you know. So, for example, you were a doctor. <laughs> Uh, having a uh, conversation about mechanics, mecha uh, engineer with somebody doesn't change what you know. <laughs> okay, so it's just a realization. You know, okay. you know. So it is not about living different life or de live well, be normal, live your life. Because the journey is within, right? I mean, people got into this journey, they need to wear certain clothes and behave a certain way. Someone see me sitting like this, like what? You don't even see. <laughs> resemble even what somebody who is a spiritual person yeah but it doesn't matter that is not the case it is about experiences it is about within yourself live your normal life live life as you can do your best okay go through life you know people get into the awakening state they are always saying um they they, they shown okay they are they are relatives or they are friends because they are awakened so they don't want to be debating with them the question why do we even debate why Debating in the first place means you are not even realized. Because realizing, no, you know that some people are not on your level. So why will you even debate? You don't waste your energy to that effect, right? Yeah, you don't. Because at the end of the game, you know there are people who are not on the level. Like going to school. You are in university. You are discussing calculus to someone in primary school. And you are debating. Right? So you then let it be, you let it be. It doesn't make sense. Yeah. So those who are ready... When you start talking, they start to understand. You don't force. You can live your okay. normal life. Okay. okay. Yeah. Work with people you want to work with. So, or if the person. What's the lifestyle must put out that shows that this person is on the right path? There's, no. Just live your normal life. After all, everything is just an illusion. Do bank you be Yeah. I mean people you bear about food, people I say you should eat a certain food, you should eat a certain days. Consciousness is beyond time and space. Consciousness is beyond all this. You don't need food to eat food or live a certain life before you become quote unquote spiritual. <laughs> it is just a perception. It is just a realization. It all goes within the mind. Okay, say the Adenam Huni says, you see, say Huni. It is within the mind, it is a change of how you view things. And an assistant. Yeah, people wow. make it lifestyle. People wow. think doing this, people think doing that, and they show. But everything is within. It is not about showing. Um, what you are now is going to actually reflect. We didn't call it doing chemistry in the day. It It is just a name for black people. Is that a name? Yeah, yeah. It represents the melanin. It an I be. Eater. The nine eater. Okay. The eaters. Yeah. The, I choose that word for blacks. Yeah. That. Wow. So you've changed your name to it an I be. Yeah. I've not changed it, but that is what I want to use when I'm dealing with this stuff.
Wow. What do you do for a living? Oh, right now I'm an um, instrumentalist. You still play drums in the church? Yeah, keyboard, keyboard. Keyboard in, yeah. in the church? Live band, yeah. To, to now? Yeah, yeah, I play live band. Hmm. <laughs> Thank you. How can we get in touch with you? Do you have a class or something yeah, yeah, that people yeah, yeah. can we have, actually connect to you? They yeah, want to we have a very big platform on Telegram and Discord. Okay. We also have a um, YouTube page okay. called Expanding Beyond the Seekers. Expanding Beyond the Seekers. Yeah. Oh, if okay. you, you have many videos and yeah. And okay. we have also class. So every vi video, there is a link to our page in Telegram. Okay. Yeah, so we have many people around, but more like it is underground, people are learning, and it is quite interesting. And the goal <laughs> is not to talk, 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 right? The goal is to make, to teach teachers so that they too can teach other people to be teachers. Wow. We, wow. The goal is to raise the vibration of the planet. Wow. The goal is to awaken the true nature of our reality. It is not about religion, it is not about all, all this stuff. It is about realizing who you are as a soul, right? So that is the goal. And so what's, what's the number if you want to get in touch with you? Oh, okay. So my number is 0245. 0245. 76. 76. 49. 49. 70. 70. 70. 70. 70. 70. 70. 70. Yeah. You don't do mistakes for people? Stays in, uh, no, I, I, no, I don't. Uh, we do healing and we do um, remote viewing. And mm -hmm. um, we view about stuff in the past or in the future, what is going to happen. It's just simple um, how to do it um, through the imagination. Mm -hmm. Because imagination is the architect, is the reality. Wow. So we use that to explore the universes, to also travel to other dimensions. Mm -hmm. um, is it expensive to travel with you? No, we I don't want, even. I want to travel with you to the dimension. We don't even charge. So I, can, I, can, I can carry my cameras along to take <laughs> some videos and bring it If you videos. can, yeah, we can do it. All right. Yeah, we can we do have it. to ask permission so we take the camera along. Yeah, no, no problem. The, the, we will the, take the, everyone. The house. The house. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for your time. Okay, okay. Charlie. I know this is the first time, and then as we move in, based on these questions, so many other topics will come up for us to discuss, and I know you will learn. These are the different, different views from different people, their experiences that they are sharing. So if your experience is this, doesn't mean that the other experience is evil. Your duty is to go back, learn, unlearn, and relearn, and this is what we do on this platform. My name is Yansabuakwa. Remember to subscribe. Bye for now.